We've seen some uh, movement of Republican forces south. We've been saying that for about a week now. There are a number of suspicious sites throughout Iraq that we have sensitive site exploitation teams. of the Saddam Hussein and the regime leaders. I don't have specific information on where Saddam Hussein is. If I did, we'd, we'd go find him there right now. But I can tell you it's about war, more than one man. It's about more than 55 men. I mean, it's about the 23 million people of Iraq and bringing them freedom. And that's what we're really here to do. Hi, how are you? Josh Rushing. Hi. What was your colleague in BBC World well, a long time ago? Yes, a very long time ago, in, in Bush House. Yes. Yeah, how are you? Fine, how are you? Who are you working for? Jazeera. Of course. <laughs> Why, of course? <laughs> the BBC eventually works for Jazeera. Well. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. We believe that Iraq has weapons of mass destruction that they had the will to use them against us. When? What do you mean, when? When, when did they use them against you? That they have the will to use them against us? Uh, when? I mean, do you think Sa Saddam... When you say someone has Sa the Saddam, will, Saddam, that's like saying... I mean, Sad Saddam, Saddam was threatening the U.S. with weapons of mass destruction? Yes. When? That's news to me, I'm sorry. Now, he, this is, now oh. this is news to me. Okay. Look. When when did Saddam threaten the U.S. with weapons of mass destruction? Oh, I, I see. I, I'm sorry. I misunderstood your question. We believe he had the will to give them the forces to use against us. And, well, go ahead. I'm just conveying to you what people are saying. They're saying that the U.S. is inventing a purpose as it goes along. In the beginning, it was weapons of mass destruction. And then the whole thing transformed into removing Saddam from power. So... Why do they think that we're doing it? What do they think our motives are? No one knows. I mean, people think really? you're there. People think you're there to basically uh, control uh, the oil of Iraq, control the Iraqi uh, foreign uh, politics, uh, to control the uh, region. I won't back down off of my point when we talk about our intent in this and what we're doing. We're not here to, to to occupy an Arab land. We're not here to take their oil. We're not here. To, to kill Arabs or take mosques or any of the other myriad of reasons. The American media were hijacked by some people within the administration so as to be used as uh, a leverage for inducing some fears within the American public. Every time he used to elevate the level of danger from yellow to orange to uh, violet or purple, I don't know what, okay, so as to make the Americans always feel that they are under siege and there is a threat. And this threat was represented by Saddam Hussein and Iraq. This guy could develop weapons of mass destruction and give them to Osama bin Laden to attack us. So when when you, a polling uh, institute comes to you, do you feel threatened? You want to say yes, of course I feel threatened. Do you know that this threat comes from a guy called Saddam Hussein? Huh? Is it? So you come. بغداد 
بغداد؟ وين المايك ماجد؟ ايوه لا نعم سامعك سامعك ما نسيت المايك فخم النور في شيء عندك؟ بغداد؟ اه قصف الان ثلاث صواريخ متتاليه على هدف واحد اوكي عنده ثلاث صواريخ قصف يقول لك خيت Yes, they failed to get Saddam. See what they were hoping for is 40 cruise missiles falling on Baghdad, then 400 paratroopers going in and finishing the job. Well, that failed. They bombed this uh, place in, northern, uh, in oh. northern Iraq. Smashed completely. Pulverized. Dead bodies in mass. I mean, why? We got the pictures and we showed them. We showed the but pictures. We of course, we'll get, we'll get grief from the Americans for showing these pictures because we're, we're just, uh, we'll be inciting rebellion and we'll be basically instigating anti-American sentiments. I mean, I'm, so, I'm sorry. They can't have their cake and eat it. I mean, yeah. Okay, you are the most powerful nation on earth. I agree. You can defeat everybody. I agree. You can crush everybody. I agree. But don't ask us to love it as well. <laughs> but the the question is, who is going to stop here? Or to, to, to stop the United States? Who is the going United, to do the United that? States. You need a new, uh, new the group. United, you need a powerful group. The United too. States is going to stop the United States. I have absolute confidence in the American Constitution. And I have absolute confidence in the ability of the American people. If the United States people are going to stop the United States in China. Make way, make way, make way, make way, make way, make way. Civilian casualties are being reported on the battlefield through a number of sources. We regret the loss of any civilians on the battlefield, and we've done all that we can reasonably do to prevent that from happening either from the air or on the ground. But we know for certain that there have been civilians killed in this operation because of the decisions taken by the regime to put them out in front, to hide behind them, to use pregnant women to blow up cars at checkpoints. We've seen this happen on the battlefield. Those are not being investigated by us at this point in time. Thanks very much, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good day. Here is uh, command headquarters, which you call, what's your little phrase? Central Command? Yeah, CENTCOM. Do you have a little short version of it? CENTCOM News Desk? CENTCOM, right, okay. CENTCOM. Huh? CENTCOM. It's C-E-N-T-C-O-M. C-E-N-T, yeah, it sounds too much like CENTCOM. You gotta be <laughs> careful. CENTCOM, CENTCOM uh -huh. with U.S. Uh, Army and State Department spokesmen, right? Mm -hmm. I've gone live on Al Jazeera, and their questions were, extremely combative. They are biased towards Saddam's regime. Mm -hmm. I will give you one example. When they cut away to commercial, mm -hmm. they have a uh, probably a 30 to 60 second montage of video that plays. Yeah, promo video. It promo is montage. American warplanes, American bombs exploding, American tanks mm -hmm. going across the desert, and, and then a, a, a baby child with bandages on her head crying. Mm -hmm. And it never shows Iraqi you don't troops. See troops. You never treating see a, treating a, a wounded POW. No, you, you don't see Iraqi troops. Uh, you know, yeah. taking hostage families or forcing people to fight or but firing on their own. Pictures, or which brings, that brings us back to my first point. Nobody has those pictures. We as Americans, given all the historic, psychological, political problems vis-a-vis -vis the Arab relations, have to work a little harder. And I repeat, every one of these damaging assertions, and I have no reason to disbelieve them because they certainly, there's no reason why Saddam Hussein and the Ba'athist regime isn't doing it, mm -hmm. isn't using human shields. But nevertheless, we don't have the picture of it. And that's why pictures of these things are so desperate. That 